Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Today I'm doing kind of lazy content, kind of not lazy content. Today I figured I would rank all of the soundtracks in Wizard 101. Specifically, I'm going to be using the hub themes for this video if I can do a combat theme later on video. But for now, just the hub themes because if I try to do multiple different themes, it's going to get way too convoluted way too you know disorganized so today i'm just going to be using specifically the hub theme so what you hear when you first enter a world and what i mainly use in my videos i'm going to be playing the music in the background so that you can kind of hear it see if you agree with me see if you disagree with me but nonetheless i digress let's get into the video so starting off we have the aquila hub theme and the aquila hub theme is actually a really good one i've used it quite a few times mainly when i talk about any form of aquila but it's the very hornsy one it has some like blaring horns and it gives you a very very good ambiance of yes this is a glorious world where i'm here to partake in the immortal games you know that kind of thing and i really like this theme i think it almost perfectly matches the world and it's extremely extremely fitting which i do love now i will say a lot of these themes i'm gonna have to struggle not to just instantly put into s tier because i love them so much obviously the ones you hear in most of my videos are probably going to be around s and a tier so i i won't give the spoilers but if you've been if you've been keeping a close ear out you probably know some of them so whatever let's continue on funny enough actually the next one is one of those is i use the avalon theme a lot because I love the Avalon theme. It has to go into S tier. It's just so so good in regards to the uh, the general ambiance, the strings, the the kind of lutes. They did a very good job of capturing medieval sound and what I'd expect a medieval soundtrack to sound like. Really, it's just a solid solid soundtrack and it works beyond Avalon. Like just for a general ambiance it's so good and it's why i use it in a lot of my videos because i love the avalon soundtrack it's just so good i don't know how anyone could dislike the avalon soundtrack i think it's one of the best parts of avalon next up we have azteca and azteca is a bit of a rough one for me because i really want to like it and i think it is a pretty good soundtrack i don't think that there's any bad soundtracks here but i will say i think that azteca is a bit less for me i'm gonna put it c tier there's i will say there is a reason there is one soundtrack i don't think i've used in my videos a single time which is the azteca soundtrack i think there's a reason for that i don't think i've really ever used it all that much it's just it's not my favorite to be completely honest i still think it's a good soundtrack i'll put it in a c tier i think it does really give the world a sense of impending doom like it should it's a pretty solid one but i don't think that i just like it i don't like it as much it could just be my bias for azteca but i i have to put it into c tier where i think uh azteca is next up we have the catacombs and this one for me has to go into e tier or like or the bottom tier just in general because i hate the catacombs i hate the soundtrack i hate the visuals i hate everything about it the catacombs are just gross and i don't like i don't even like the soundtrack i think that it's not the fault of the composer it's the fault of the fact that king's Isle created a street that in my opinion has literally zero redeeming qualities at all that's definitely like king's Isle's fault not the composers but i do think the soundtrack is almost just as bad as the actual street itself that could just be my incredible bias against the catacomb shining through but i don't think it's that good celestia is a really hard one because i love the celestia soundtrack i dislike celestia i've said that multiple times but the celestian soundtrack is so good and it gives that really good sense of adventure especially with the the hub soundtrack it's very much a grandiose exploration kind of soundtrack, which is exactly what Celestia is supposed to be. Celestia is a world of exploration, finding out the, what happened to the past Celestians, all that. It's such a good soundtrack. I'm going to have to put it into A tier rather than S tier because I don't think it's one of my favorites, but it is such a good soundtrack. Like, it is amazing and amazingly tied to the world next we have dragon spire and i think this one's actually going to surprise some people but i'm going to put dragon spire at b now before i get like a riot in my comments 
I don't think Dragon Spire soundtracks are bad. In fact, I think Dragon Spire has some of the best soundtracks in this game. But the hub soundtrack specifically, in my opinion, is my least favorite of the Dragon Spire soundtracks. I think that all of the other ones, especially like the final ones where you go against Malastare, are perfect. They're amazing. They work really well. In fact, they would probably be S tier. But the hub soundtrack, in my opinion, is just a little bit too much a little bit too aggressive for the hub of Dragonspire. I don't like it as much. Now, it's still a good soundtrack. I'm still gonna put it in a B tier, but I don't think it's as impactful and as fitting for me as some others in say Aquila, Avalon, those worlds. Those worlds are perfect, but I think Dragonspire is a bit eh. Let me know what you think. I think obviously, like I don't mind it. I don't think it's bad. It's just definitely not my favorite of the Dragon Spire soundtracks. Next up is Imperia, and Imperia for me is going to have to be another one that's a little bit low. I think that Imperia has some really good soundtracks. Imperia I've definitely come around to. I like Imperia a lot more now than I did, say, a year or two ago. But I will say, and I have said this before, Aerial Shore and Aerial Jungle is my least favorite part of Imperia. It's dark, it's dreary, it's gross, and I hate it. I've never enjoyed doing it a single time, and I don't think I ever will. This, by extension, is true for the music. I think the music is really good. I think the soundtrack perfectly fits the area. I think it is genuinely that good, but I don't like it. It's just, it's one of those things where I associate the soundtrack with the area, and I just dislike the area. I think it's similar to Azteca, where I think it's a really good soundtrack. I just don't like specifically the base area of the world. Azteca is the whole world, but Imperia is just the base area. I just don't like it. It could just be me, but there is that. The Tale of Four Dungeons. This one is going to be extremely hard, and in fact, I don't know how I can physically rank this. Instead, I'll, ch I'll just split it into four. So technically, I'll have to split it into three. So the Darkmoor track is its own track. It's a very good theme that I will start playing in the background. It is very tense and it very much fits the atmosphere of Darkmoor and I do really like it. I think it would be an A tier potentially. I don't think it would be an S tier because it's not exactly my favorite, but it is a really, really solid soundtrack. Next up for Zigazag, I'm actually going to not be able to rank it because I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that Zigazag doesn't have its own unique soundtrack. I'm pretty sure that Zigazag just uses Krakatopia music. I could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's the case. Just kind of lump it in with my Krakatopia music, which I will rank at some point, but I do really like the Krakatopia music, and, and I will say it's going to be high ranking, just lump it in with that. Next up, we have the Barkingham Palace theme, which is its own unique theme, I believe. It is, just like the other Marleybone themes, super, super good, super well crafted, an amazing, amazing soundtrack that I do really like, and I would probably put it S tier. Finally is the Kimalung Village, which is a Mushu type track, but a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more laid back. I don't like it as much as the Mushu tracks, but I do think it's a good track. I'd probably put it around B tier if I had to choose. I think it's, it's, it's a decent soundtrack, but it's not anything amazingly stand out compared to some of the other ones. But I'll just throw Tale of Four Dungeons into B. It's kind of like, I don't know, or like A, I don't know, wherever it is. It's a good, it's, they're all different. I don't know how to split them apart. Next up is Grizzleheim and Winter Tusk, and this has to be an instant S tier. Beyond the fact that Grizzleheim is perfect and amazing, we also have Nick Jonas himself coming out of the woodworks to produce the Winter Tusk music tracks. Um, I don't know how much actual input he had on the recording of them. Supposedly, he had a massive input in uh, writing them, but I don't actually know. Either way, both Grizzleheim and Winter Tusk have amazing soundtracks, especially the hub themes like uh, Grizzleheim is really good. Winter Tusk is similarly extremely good. I'm probably not going to be able to play both in the background for you. I'll probably just pick Grizzleheim. Really good soundtracks. Overall, deserve the S tier. Caramel. Now, Caramel is an interesting one because Caramel I really like the music. I think it's good. Like, I like the whole... Dun, 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 That's going to sound so bad over the background music, but I'm going to leave that in anyway. I don't even care. I would say it's a really good soundtrack. It's a good soundtrack. 
it's not my favorite soundtrack. In fact, I'm probably gonna have to put it like B tier. I think it's good. It's just not like stand out compared to some other ones. It does perfectly match the world. Similar to like Dragon's Fire, I think it's really good. It's just not my favorite of the soundtracks. Now, Caramel also does have some really good soundtracks, but I'm talking specifically the Hub soundtrack and the Hub soundtrack for Caramel isn't exactly my favorite. Next up is Chrysalis and this one's gonna be rough and I think a lot of people are going to disagree with this. But Chrysalis, I'm gonna have to put really low, and there's a reason for this before anyone gets all uppity. I really love Chrysalis soundtracks. I think Chrysalis soundtracks are amazing. I think they're really good, and I do love them. But the problem is, is that I have listened to Chrysalis soundtracks for over 200 hours of my life, and they are associated with so many bad memories, like so many bad memories, that I cannot put them high on my list. Some of them, are good. Some of them I've used in my videos and I use them decently rarely, but I still use them. I like them. But specifically the Bastion soundtrack, I've heard too much. It's too mentally scarring. I can't put it higher, but I do actually quite enjoy it. I enjoy it once in a new moon, right? Like I do like it, but I've heard it so much. I can't listen to it beyond like that every once in a while. Next up, we have Crocotopia and Crocotopia has to be an S tier for me. I love Crocotopia music so much. I've probably said this so many times in the past, but I think Crocotopia music is really, really amazing. Like really, it perfectly fits the world, perfectly fits the atmosphere. And they did an amazing job on Krakatopia music. In fact, I could go and sit, sometimes I used to, I would go and sit in Krakatopia and just listen to the music. Like I used to do that as a kid and the second they, re they release Wizard 101 music on Spotify, you bet I am going to probably uh, just listen to Krakatopia music all the time. It's my favorite, I love it. It's such a good soundtrack and you all need to love it too. If you don't, blasphemy. Next up, we have Lemuria, and Lemuria, I haven't had enough time to fully judge it, but I do think it's a really good soundtrack. I'm going to put it into B tier. I think it just hasn't had that time to sink in yet, but I do actually think it's a really good soundtrack. I think it does match the world really well, especially like the old one theme, like the, the one that plays with the sound cues, really, really good. I think it's a pretty good soundtrack, and I think a lot of Lemuria has good soundtracks, you know, so I think that's fair there. Next up is Marleybone, and oh, you guys should also already know that this is an S tier. You should definitely already know. The reason why I say that in case anyone for some reason doesn't know why this is an S tier, I play this music in the background of most of my videos. If I don't know what music to put in the background, I just throw in Marleybone music because I love Marleybone music so much. It's so good. I think one of the reasons for that is, and this is like a little piece of trivia if I remember correctly, is that Kingsile actually asked the composer to write a soundtrack that sounded similar to Harry Potter. And he brought them the soundtrack and they were like, okay, you are the composer for us, you will compose our music. And that soundtrack later ended up becoming the soundtrack to Marleybone. And definitely I can see that vibe. Like I can totally understand how that would sound like similar to Harry Potter. And I love it so much. I love how it's unique, it's amazing, and it's just so vibrant and impactful. I love it. And it's one of my favorite parts of going to Marleybone actually is just experiencing the music. It's my favorite soundtrack in this game. I can say that hands down, absolute favorite. Next we have Mirage and Mirage is actually one where I'm a bit iffy on it. I'm going to put it into B tier. I think that it definitely is a really good soundtrack. I think it's, pr it's really, really good, but Caravan isn't exactly my favorite of them, I think. It's it's unique, it's interesting, but it's not exactly my favorite. It's it's good though. Next up we have Mushu, and Mushu also has to be an S tier. I love Mushu. I've said this before a thousand times, and the music is part of that. It's peaceful, it's dramatic, and they managed to perfectly capture the whole Asian like string instrument thing and like all of the different instruments and the flutes. So good, perfectly done. Just, I, I don't know what to say beyond that. Okay, so next up is Polaris. And this one is a bit rough because I think there's actually two different ones. There is the one where you first enter Polaris and then there's the one where you liberate it from the rule of the Empress. The one after you liberate it, I'm probably gonna put like C tier or B tier. I don't think it's my favorite, there's like the whole victory it is it is really good 
but then there's the other one where it's like actually intense and like pretty good mysterious interesting i'm gonna have to put it into b tier i think now i will say this one is rough for me because i think polaris has some of my favorite music in the game like there's the whole like i think it's the combat soundtrack where it you know goes polaris dun, 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 that that whole thing really good one of my favorites in the game but specifically talking about the hub soundtracks i think polaris isn't exactly one of my favorites next up is wizard city now this one is definitely a toss-up for the old wizard city in classic mode classic mode wizard city is probably an s tier new wizard city i'm gonna probably put it in a tier i'm gonna put it in a tier i think it's still iconic but they made it a little bit too full sounding compared to the original one. The original one was a bit more whimsical, a bit more um, interesting, but definitely like the commons theme. And it's still like that. It just sounds a bit too much and a bit too over the top now, I think, compared to what it used to. Before it was simplistic, but perfect. Now it's a bit more complex, but it's still really, really good. So I'm going to put it into A tier. Next up is Wisteria, and I also love Wisteria. I'm going to have to put it at A tier. It's a really, really solid track, a really good track, and definitely captures the essence of what the world is supposed to be. And I do really, really love it. I think it's really good and a, just overall a, so a solid soundtrack. I will give it that. So uh, uh, a tier, I think, is fair for Pigswick Academy. Finally, we have Zafaria, and Zafaria, for me, has to be an S tier. This may surprise some people, but I love the Zafaria music. I've used it in quite a few of my videos. I just think it really, really matches the essence of the world, and it's probably actually my favorite part of the world. Like, some other worlds where it's like Marleybone, it's like, yes, the Marleybone music is great, but the rest of Marleybone's great as well. Zafaria is like, the music is great. Like, the world's good, but the music is better. And I think the music in uh, Zafaria is just really, really good. So that's it for my hub rankings. I think that that's pretty fair. That's around what I would rank them. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with this ranking? Disagree? I am excited to see. Let me know in the comments if you want me to do this again, but do it with the battle themes because the battle themes are a bit different. I would say some battle themes I like much more than others. And, you know, if you're interested in that, let me know. But that's it for today. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.